My name is Stephen, I'm the um, electrician, one of two electricians here at Edinburgh Zoo. Uh, we deal with mainly electrical systems and repair, i.e. electrical testing and inspection, we do pack testing, we also do mainly maintenance throughout the park. Uh, other day-to-day -day things that we do are um, just go around and make sure all the lights are working in each enclosure and especially the public areas. Just check the lights as well up there, the pod lights coming in. You don't want it too bright in there because they'll think that if they want brightness they'll go outside. That's just an ambient light just to make sure that um, they're comfortable and if they want to go and rest somewhere they can get out of the outside daylight. When enclosures are actually getting built, I am uh, the first person to be in the enclosure because what I need to do is I need to strip out all the old electrical systems in the enclosure and start from scratch. Now here we're at the panda enclosure. Now before it was the pandas it was uh, the guinea baboons. Now, there was a lot of work undertaken to transform what we had to what we've got now. So I'll just show you some of the things that were involved in that. Yeah, there is a couple of floodlights in the corners which are quite hard to, to see, but we wanted to keep them out of uh, visitor range. Everything's on timers as well, so it's to suit the, the panda's habitat back in China. So basically there's not a lot of interruption between daylight and night time than what they would have got back in China. Well, um, when uh, I got told the pandas were coming and we were building an enclosure, I was so glad to be the electrician to put my stamp on it. There's not many electricians out there that can actually say, I worked on the panda enclosure at Edinburgh Zoo. Now, pandas, it's a worldwide thing now, so it's, um, it's, it's a, a feel-good thing to know that my stamp and all my work that I put in is uh, there to be seen by everybody.